Hi there, it's Linda here. Thanks for joining me today as I play along with this fabulous balloon stamp set from Mudra Craft Stamps. And I'll be making two cards, one with brushos and the other with Tim Holtz Distress Oxide Inks. So first of all, you see me here just arranging three of the large balloons from the set. I absolutely adore these balloons. Chevron striped, polka dotted, oh, that's so beautiful. So I am inking up the three big ones for my first card. I will be heat embossing these in clear, so I'm using Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And being that I'm stamping on some Canson watercolour cardstock, I do need to ink up a few times to get a nice thick coverage because these are quite a large balloon stamp. And so this is my second inking and I also do a third before I then use my clear embossing powder over the top. As you can see, I'm melting all the embossing powder with my heat gun and then my card is all ready for my brushos. So I'm using repositionable or removable adhesive on the back, attaching it to my craft mat. And yes, if you notice this looks a little bit different to the placement of my balloons, you are right. Because I forgot to turn on the video recorder and I missed my first attempt. So. I'm making a second one to show you how it all works. So these are the Brusho powders. I'm using, as you can see, turquoise, leaf green and emerald green. And yes, there is powder coming out. It is so fine, you can't see it at this point. And I'm just using my Sharpie tool here to make the hole a little bit larger. And I'm sprinkling on those three colours. And I didn't want you to miss the magic that happens when you add water. It really is beautiful to watch. Depending how much water you add, you get a different look. And that's why you see me sort of spray a bit and then add a little bit more powder and then spray a bit more. And then I wait for a while because these very fine little powder particles really do react, continue to react with the water that's on your card. So I take a bit of time just to let the water soak in and move the powders around. And then when I see little puddles that I don't want, I'll just wipe them up with the tissue. And that is the magic of brushos. So that is my first card or, you know, the, the beginnings of my first card already. I'll just allow it to dry now. And I'm moving on to card number two. This is the card that I will use the Tim Holtz Distress Oxide inks on. So I'm using five of the fabulous balloon stamps this time. And I'm stamping them in Versamark Clear Embossing Ink. And I will be adding my much loved Wow Opaque Bright White Super Fine Embossing Powder over the top. And now the fun begins. Oh, I love this bit. So I've got my three chosen colours of Distress Oxide, the Warm, Worn Lipstick, Fossilised Amber and Broken China. And I've smushed them down on my craft mat and now I am spraying all the colours until they bead up nicely. So getting a good coverage of water all over them. And then I've got my 
heat embossed balloons and it's a matter of laying the card down into those puddles of oxide ink and lifting it up, heating it with my heat tool and then back into the colour, more heating and I'm continuously just adding different splotches of colour to different parts of the card and yes it is a bit scary I look at that section at the top left right now and I think hmm don't love that colour but stick with it keep persevering right now you see me um, with my water sprayer just the nozzle part I'm splashing on drops of water unfortunately I don't have the Tim Holtz Holtz Distress Sprayer yet where you can uh, spray on large drops so I just remove the top of my little water sprayer and I, I flick on drops of water. So I'm cleaning off those first inks. I will be putting down a new layer of each because uh, I felt they were getting a little bit messed up and muddy and that way I'll be able to keep adding all these colours to my card front and again spraying them up until they bead up nicely and then you'll see me continuing to drag the card through the colour where I want it right now I'm happier with that top left section because I've got more pink on it now as you'll see so the delight of the oxide inks is you can layer over the top again and again and again and I start to get quite inky at this point and there's not enough room for everything <laughs> so I'm moving things around there trying to stay in camera range and I need a, an extra pair of hands just about so continuing to heat with my heat gun and continuing to dollop into the ink puddles trying to add different colours where I feel like they are needed and then I start to dollop on a bit more water as you can see I've taken off the, the top there I'm dolloping it on with the nozzle and heating again and soon you will see me grab a couple of paint brushes and I flick on some extra colour so I grab a brush for the blues and a brush for the pinks and I start to flick on those colours as a final step in, in the process. my piece has thoroughly dried I grab a tissue and I'm just wiping off the ink that has gathered on top of the heat embossed areas so that those balloons will show up and be nice and white 
And here you can see my two pieces, the brush oak piece and the Distress Oxide piece, all ready to add to my cards. So the brush oak piece first. I'm picking a gorgeous sentiment that I just love from this Mudra Love stamp set. And it'll be a nice simple stamping with Versafine Onyx Black Ink. And I'll be adding it to my card front, adding a nice shiny piece of foiled blue cardstock underneath. my brush oak card finished I'm now moving on to the oxide ink card and I'll be adding sentiments from the fabulous purely sentiments labeled set I've chosen two that will work well for birthday messages and I'm inking them up with the same colors of oxide inks that I used for my splattering so I've got worn lipstick and broken china and the lovely thing about oxide inks is that they do stamp very nicely. 